So this whole Kyrie Irving situation has kind of been spiraling much more than I ever anticipated. If you watched my first Kyrie Irving video, I thought there was some smoke, but I had no idea the fire would end up being this big because the dialogue surrounding the situation was somewhat positive from the rest of the Nets. Maybe positive actually wasn't the right word. Let me change that and say that for the most part, the Nets seemed optimistic. I think it's safe to say after this Instagram live that that optimism is pretty much all gone. You know, I had to stop running away from using my voice and using my platform to, uh, you know, speak on what's true and what's mine. You know, nobody's going to hijack my voice. Nobody's going to take the power away from me that I have for speaking on these things, you know, and don't believe that I'm retiring. Don't believe that, <laughs> you know, I'm going to give up this game. Be aware of what's being said uh, before I even get a chance to be on the podium and speak for myself. You know what I'm saying? Like all these people saying all these things about what's going on with me and it's just not true. Pay attention to what's going on out in the real world. You know, people are losing their jobs to these mandates. Uh, people are having to make choices with their own lives, which I respect, you know, and and I don't want to um, sit here and, and play on people's emotions either. Just use logic. You know, what would you do? You know, if, if you felt uncomfortable going into the season uh, when you were promised that you would have exemptions, or that you didn't have to be forced to get the, you know, this wasn't an issue uh, before the season started. This this wasn't something that I foresaw coming where I prepared for it. And, uh, you know, I had a, a chance to strategize on what was going to be best for me and my family. I came into the season uh, thinking that I was just going to be able to play ball. This may sound like just a ridiculous thing to say, but I'm not sure how I expected the live to go. And it went exactly how I expected it to. I literally just threw the comments in alley-oop. I threw the comments a Chris Paul, Lob City, Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan alley-oop. You guys are going to have a blast with that quote. I can already see it. I'd say a Zion Williamson alley-oop, but it's pretty clear that Zion Williamson alley-oops aren't happening anytime soon. If you guys want a video on the Zion Williamson situation, let me know down in the comments below. I'll bring it to you guys first thing tomorrow morning. In the comments below, let me know how you feel about Kyrie Irving's IG Live. Is he making any valid points? Do you think that Kyrie is in the wrong here or do you think that he is miserably misinformed? People have come to hate Kyrie and I understand why. He hasn't came across as the most likable guy to some people for many different reasons. You know everybody's different. If there's one thing that I've learned, it's that people will find almost any reason to dislike you if they actually just want to dislike you. Now I actually feel like I'm in the minority because I don't dislike Kyrie. Now, is this situation a mess? Yes. Do I think that Kyrie Irving is terribly misinformed? Yes. Now, before we go any further, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. You will not want to miss another Get Like Coop video. And that's facts. Guys, I'm going to be giving away two copies of NBA 2K22, one on my channel, another on my stream. If you want to win a copy or some VC, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. Also, be sure to follow my stream. The link to my stream is going to be on the screen. I definitely want to do way more giveaways going forward just as my way to show appreciation for everybody that's been supporting my channel. This picture feels like it happened a decade ago. Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, chilling, embracing the crowd, embracing the community. Just incredibly cool stuff. This picture happened October 9th. I think it's safe to say that since October 9th, a lot of people in the Brooklyn Nets organization feel way differently than Kevin Durant does in this picture. October 12th, Shams announced that Kyrie Irving would not play or practice with the team until he is a full participant. Now, tell me if I'm tripping or is James Harden mad, frustrated, or just can't be bothered with this question? Have you talked to Kyrie since the stadium came down? Say it again. Have you talked to Kyrie since? No, I haven't talked to him. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. I'm a big time Rockets fan. I watch a lot of Rockets basketball. That's my second team. Houston is where I stay. Outside of the fiasco that happened to get James Harden traded, I've never seen him so short, so blunt. And the thing is that if Kyrie Irving never ends up getting it, this is going to be an ongoing discussion for the entire season. 
everything that I've seen coming out of Brooklyn is that these guys just want to move past this whole situation. Nets GM Sean Marks gave a full statement on Kyrie's decision to sit. Quote, given the evolving nature of the situation and after thorough deliberation, we have decided Kyrie Irving will not play or practice with the team until he is eligible to be a full participant. Kyrie has made a personal choice and we respect his individual right to choose. Currently, the choice restricts his ability to be a full-time member of the team, and we will not permit any member of our team to participate with part-time availability. Whoa. It is imperative that we continue to build chemistry as a team and remain true to our long-established values of togetherness and sacrifice. Our championship goals for the season have not changed. And to achieve these goals, each member of our organization must pull in the same direction. We are excited for the start of the season and look forward to a successful campaign that will make the borough of Brooklyn proud. In the comments below, do you guys still feel like the Nets can win a championship without Kyrie Irving? I definitely do. I think this team is stacked. They have depth. They're good. They're well-rounded. They have shooters. They have two superstars, even without Kyrie. Look, I know Harden took a back seat last year for parts, but let's not forget how good the beard really is. Also, I want to know if you guys feel like this is the right decision by the Brooklyn Nets. Keep in mind that the Nets have supported Kyrie and took on more than I'm sure they envisioned themselves taking on for a while. I also want to know if you guys feel like the Nets should trade Kyrie and would you even take Kyrie as a star on your team at this point? So I've seen a lot of people talk about the money that Kyrie would be losing and rightfully so. I mean, the guy is going to lose a ton of money if he decides not to play. Anyways, here's Kai's response to the money issue. I need to revolve around this and that and yo, you're going to lose out on money and you're going to lose out on this like so what it's not about the money baby it's not always about the money it's about choosing what's best for you you think i really want to lose money you think i really want to give up on my dream to go after a championship you think i really just want to give up my job you think i really just want to sit at home and 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 not go after the things with my teammates that I, i've been able to to grow with to learn with to learn that it takes sacrifice in this space because we could be easily at home chilling with our families, but we're choosing to go out there and perform, you know, and even in that job, like that, that's a dream come true. I've been working on that since I was in fourth grade. You think I want to give up my livelihood because of a mandate because I don't have accommodation. Bro, could you guys imagine just losing millions upon millions of dollars? You know how much good you could do with like all of that money? It's just so crazy to even think about. And I bring that up because Kyrie Irving loves to give back and just fight for what he believes in, no matter how ridiculous that people think that his thoughts are. Yesterday, Sham said that Kyrie is looking at leaving $16 million on the table, as well as a potential $185 million extension. So he stands to lose about 200 million dollars bro what Kyrie says he's doing all of this because quote i'm standing with all those that believe what is right everybody is entitled to do what they feel is best for themselves seeing the way this is dividing our world up it's sad to see people are losing jobs to mandates quick question guys is Stephen a spitting facts here or nah this is some of the stupidest nonsense I've ever seen. You're going to compromise all of that because you want to give a voice to the voiceless. Really? And how is that going to work out for you, Kyrie Irving? Okay, okay, okay. Maybe you didn't like what Stephen A. had to say. What about Kendrick Perkins? They go on here and say, you know what? Kyrie Irving is a version of Colin Kaepernick. No, he's not. I don't know what Kyrie Irving stands. He's all over the place, as you would say. I wonder what's going through KD's head at this moment. The Nets had a championship lined up last season. Now, of course, they didn't win. And like KD said, there's no moral victories. But these guys were so close. 
this shot by KD was literally one of the greatest playoff shots that I had ever seen. The fact that Kyrie Irving isn't getting offered an extension anytime soon has to have KD feeling some type of way. When this whole thing got started, KD dropped this quote, I'm envisioning Kyrie being a part of our team. Maybe I'm just naive, but that's how I feel. Remember guys, the Nets aren't looking for part-time players, but if they ever needed a fill-in, they know where to find me. I'm a literal 6'10 bucket, but then again, my Achilles is torn, so I probably couldn't help too much. Harden's future is going to be something to monitor. Let me know what you guys think about this entire situation and fiasco. Subscribe if you are new. Trust me guys, you won't want to miss a video. Click in the video on the screen right now is a great way to support my channel. I'm Get Like Coop bringing you guys the scoop until our next upload.